Morning guys, William Stephanie from Bars on Tour and today we're going to be climbing Ben Cronzy. Yep. How are you feeling? Tired, but ready. <laughs> it's the first Munro we've done in a, a while, so yeah. we're hoping to try and get up and down before we need to go and pick the kids up for school. But it should be good. We'll place is aye. Place is beautiful. Place is absolutely stunning so far. So it's the first uh, mountain we'll have climbed in quite some time. I'm expecting us to be feeling the pace in this one, but we'll see what happens. Uh, part of the Grampian Mountains, and I believe it's just over 900 metres tall, making it officially a Munro. But it's said to be one of the easier sort of Munros to climb, but we'll be the judge of that. So today we were planning on doing Ben Lomond but there's a yellow rain warning all over the, the west coast of Scotland So we had a quick search and decided to go with um, Ben Cronzy Ben Cronzy's more central or about an hour away from Glasgow, closer to Perth So we thought we'll give this one a try take another one off the list and try and not drown um, But it's beautiful so far Scenery is stunning. Thank you. Um, but it looks as if we're going to catch a bit of rain here as well. I think it's pretty much raining everywhere in Scotland at the minute. A lot of flooding. So hopefully it won't be as bad this side. But you never know. Give the rain jackets ways anyway. I believe the top of that mountain up there and the clouds is where we're going. Uh, we did a quick Google. It says the average time we complete is between four and six hours, but um, we're usually quite a quick pace. Hoping to shave about an hour off that. I think it's better. You'll be up and down in three hours. <laughs> She's very confident. I am. You get left in my dust constantly. It's true. She's like a mountain goat. She flies up these things. But, um, I hope we can get up and down in about three hours. Get us time for a cup of tea and a sandwich. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah, I'd say that's about a third of the way there. Um, rain's picked up a little bit. Wind's picked up a little bit. Nothing's but, like Ben Lady though. Aye, we went up Ben Lady last year, or this year. And uh, it was like, 40, 50, 60 mile an hour gusts at the top. Good people turning around halfway. We should probably be in a safer bit. No. Um, but we made it to the top and then got down as fast as we could because it was wild. But for uh, about a third of the way, can't really see the top yet for the clouds at the minute. <coughs> So I'm assuming the weather up there is going to be a bit meaner than it is here, but we'll find out, we'll see what's what.
Chas is nearly at the top. How are you feeling? Good. Oh, legs are on fire. Um, feeling good. Legs are burning. My groin is not the greatest. But there's no view. As you can see. Right in the clouds. But at least it's cool. Which helps. But we're probably 100 metres in elevation to the summit. So we'll see you there. Oh, right. That's us almost at the top. Climbing the summit just now. Zero visibility. Going to need to properly navigate our way back to the path. But we're fucked. as we can. It's getting pretty nasty, but we made it. Oh. Oh, this is uh, on the way back down. We made it up there 935 metres to the summit, but for the last, I don't know, 200 metres, just zero visibility. Uh, winds were insane. No, oh, that was, that was quite, getting quite scary. Um, the problem with the top of it is there's no clear path so once you get up there uh, it's quite easy to get lost but somebody's went around and put a load of fence posts down and arrow they made arrows out of them so you know what direction to go but still it's easy to miss them but we made it back onto the normal path now we're still in the clouds still got a fair bit to get down but how was that then do you think good Aye. that's the hill climbing for for winter i think Steph said. Uh, I was a uh, tiny bit scared there. Aye, she is. But I'm panicking to go at the top and can you see the path? But to be fair, uh, it was it was one of the positions where one wrong turn and you're on top of a mountain in the Scottish winter, coming into winter. But we made it. And we're on the way back down. Got the car to get a cup of tea, some lunch. Sandwiches, yum yums, donuts. Sandwiches, yum yums, and donuts waiting for me. Buzzing. Uh, so we'll check in when we're further down. I think we're on the sort of last 10 minute stretch to the car. Um, Rain started coming on again, but Very I've got a little buddy there. The um, looking forward to getting back. Pretty hungry now. Starving. Starving. Need a warm cup of tea. Cup of tea, a roll, and yum get yums. yum yums as well, and uh, some donuts. That'll that'll sort it out. But yeah, that was a really good walk. The wind's picked up. The rain's coming in, so. Just looking forward to getting back to the car now. My beard is everywhere. I'm a riot. It's taking its toll. My beard's looking okay though. Yeah. Bye. Nearly back to the car. But it's another good day. Another another mountain ticked off the list in Scotland. Um, I think we'll be picking them back up in the summer or the spring. Spring. Since the uh, the weather doesn't take too kindly in Scotland the mountains a lot of snow and that and it's not really at that sort of level to do that yet. <laughs> um, ben Lomond next. Ben Lomond aye. Ben Lomond will be the next one. That's actually the closest uh, the closest one to Glasgow. And it's actually pretty tall as well. Um, but aye this was quite good. It was a last minute one because of the weather which if the weather was meant to be better here, I don't know what Ben Lomond would have been like today. It would have been wild. Yeah. 
Aye, another one picked up the list. Yep, like to do this one again when it's a bit cleaner. Aye, the views in this one were stunning, but with the cloud, I can only imagine how good it would have been um, with some clear skies. But a beautiful place, even the drive here was, was Aye, gorgeous. Drive, it was lovely. Beautiful bit of Scotland, this, and it's only an hour away from Glasgow. Right, that's me made it. We've, we've made it back, back to the, back to the car. Gonna uh, sit for 20 minutes, get some lunch, chill out, and head back home. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and um, <coughs> the next video will be a solo camp adventure. This one, I'm picking up, and then forest myself to do a bit of camp. So I'll see you then. Cheers, guys. Bye.